Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to finish off the rig I started in the previous tutorial by adding some control bones. Before I start that, I noticed that the constraint I added to the elbow joint, uh, it wasn't mirrored to the other side, I forgot to do the other side, so I'm going to quickly do that. I'm going to lock the Z rotation, lock the Y rotation, limit the X rotation. One of these has to be set to zero. That's the right one. And I've been putting the stiffness up about halfway. Okay, I've got to do that with the lower leg as well. So if I select the lower leg, lock, lock, limit. It must be, it's on the other side for the knee joint. And put the stiffness to be about 50%. Okay, at the end of the previous tutorial, I said if I grab the backbone, uh, he, we can move him from place to place, but I want him, as he sort of hits the floor, to bend his knees. So how can we do that? Well, if we go into edit mode and add some control bones, we'll see what happens. So I'm going into edit mode, I'm selecting the tail of the lower leg. For mirrored extrusion it's hold down shift press E and I'm dragging out two new bones and I'm going to select those bones and I'm going to call them this one target left, it's on the character's left hand side. And I'm going to call this one target right. Now, uh, at the moment, they're the child of the previous bone and connected to it. I need to clear the parent relationship. I hold down Alt, press P, and clear the parent relationship. Uh, now I'm going to make the lower leg, and you have to do this in pose mode, I'm going to make the lower leg, uh, if I get the properties of the inverse kinematic constraint that was added to the lower leg, I can put a target. Now all these things here are not bones, they are the meshes. I have to select the armature and then you get a bone field coming up. And now I've got to look for my target left. It's off the end of the list. I'm pressing the down arrow. There's target left. And that uh, the inverse kinematics has a target now that the new bone that I added. Repeat that for the right hand side. So select armature, the character's right hand side. The bone field comes up and I'm looking for my target right which is there, press enter. Now if I select the backbone, press G to grab, I move it up and down. As it hits the target bones, it bends its knees, which is nice. When it's in range, uh, the lower leg connects to the bone and bends the knee, and when it's out of range, it points at the target bone. So we get a nice jumpy move movement there. But that creates a new problem how do I move the figure from place to place? And to solve that problem, we need another control bone. Now, if I go to add a new bone, go into edit mode, I could extrude from uh, any of the bones um, and disconnect, but a quick method is Shift and A is the add menu but when you've got an armature selected in edit mode, it will add a new bone at the 3D cursor. I'm going to name this bone. I'm going to call it the root bone because it will be the highest level parent. And I'm going to uh, rotate it in uh, the right view. So with the cursor in the right view, I'm going to press R, numeric, 90 degrees. Enter. I'm going to scale it a little bit, make it a bit bigger, and grab it. I'm going to put it at ground level, just at the back of the leg, and 
grab it in the front view and put it in between the legs. I'm now going to make that the big parent. So uh, my control bones for the legs, hold down shift, select both control bones for the legs, hold down shift, select the backbone and with shift held down finally select the whole of the root bone. To make a parent it's control P and keep offset. Now in, back into pose mode okay to move the whole object if I select the root bone G to grab I can move my figure from place to place if I want to pose my legs I must use uh, the control bone to pose the legs pose the arms it's the lower arm Pose the arm, okay, and now if I grab the backbone, G to grab, we can sort of do a, a jump, uh, Okay, that's in pose mode. How do you animate that, record that? Well, I'll show you that in the next tutorial. The finished rig you can get uh, at my website, freemovies.co.uk, at the Blender channel there. Um, that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.